Hello and welcome to the September 12th episode of This Week in Kirkland, the official podcast of the city of Kirkland, bringing you timely topics and noteworthy news delivered to you every week. I'm your host, Jim Lopez, one of two deputy city managers here at the city, joined today by two members of our podcast team. Kate Ryan. And David Wolbrecht. As well as our special guest, Daniel Lazo. Welcome, Daniel. Woo, hello, hello. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we're excited to have you in the show today. Well, I'm excited to be here. (laughs) Uh, We got a lot to talk about. City Hall for All. Including City Hall for All. (laughs) Yeah. This is like the City Hall for All show. It is. Yeah. It is. It's a very festive show. Mm -hmm. It is a very festive show. Yes. We're going to talk about all of the... Fun things that will be happening this weekend. But before we do, here's what we're talking about in terms of topics Mm -hmm. this week. (laughs) Some announcements on the opening of the Kirkland Teen Union Building. Oh, that's going to be great. Yes. How to become a green Kirkland steward and a preview of the next city council as well as the next salary commission meeting. Oh, good. Yeah. Plus, uh, remembering 9-11 this week. And also some thoughtful reminders, uh, this National Suicide Prevention Week. Yeah, good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, important stuff. And some other upcoming events. Yes, and a reminder that we always have links and more information in the show notes for all of our items. So please check yes. out that reference. Mm-hmm. It's like a library down there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a library of good information. <laughs> okay, but first, our big story of the week. Today is National Police Women's Day. And we want to thank all of the dedicated women in law enforcement who put their lives on the line every day to protect our communities. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Specific shout out to the women of the Kirkland Police Department, including our very own chief, for serving our community with honor, integrity, and courage. She's amazing. Yeah. Not not only do we have women police officers, but we also have many women correction officers and administrative staff that help keep Kirkland safe every single day. So if you or someone you know is interested in a challenging and rewarding career in law enforcement, Mm -hmm. consider joining the Kirkland Police Department. Yes. That's right. Great. The best police department. Mm-hmm. Hey, this week we also remember the events of September 11th and all those affected by the attacks. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, solemn. We had a, a very solemn but very meaningful ceremony here at City Hall. Yeah, Wednesday morning. Right, so yeah. Kirkland Fire personnel, police officers, and city leadership commemorated this remembrance with an honor guard ceremony here um, at the Flags. Mm-hmm. We remember those who lost their lives and their families, as well as the courageous first responders on that fateful day and in the aftermath. And we also remember the dedicated members of our armed forces who stepped up to the call of duty to protect our nation. Thank you for thank your you. service. Thank yes. you very much for your service. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so the next meeting of the Kirkland City Council is on Tuesday, September 17th. And here's what's on the agenda. On the business agenda, there's going to be a presentation on Energy Smart East Side. That's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. And an informational briefing on proposed adjustments to utility rates for the next two years. That's right. Also considering a negotiation framework for a Seattle crack and iceplex and a city of Kirkland community center. And we'll have three public hearings on revenue sources for the 2526 budget. Also the council's consideration on opposing initiative measure number 2066, which relates to natural gas, as well as uh, considering opposing initiative measure number 2117, which has to do with carbon tax credits. Yes. Hmm. And prior to the business agenda, there will be a study session, as there always is. Mm -hmm. And that will have a review of the 2025-2026 Human Services Grant funding recommendations. They're comprehensive. There are a lot of them, and they're very interesting. Yes. Yep. As well as a briefing on the options for the Houghton Village Development Plan. And council meetings are, of course, streamed live on the city's YouTube channel, Facebook page, and website. Yes, so please tune in. And speaking of meetings, my friends, the Salary Commission has an upcoming public meeting on September 20. Third. Mm-hmm. So they don't meet often. Um, so heads up. Uh, and for those who don't know, Salary Commission is an advisory body that helps set the income for city council, uh, which here in Kirkland um, are technically part time positions. The Salary Commission will meet in the council chambers here at City Hall at 5 p.m. Yes, and school is back in session, everybody. Mm-hmm. School is yeah. back <laughs> in <laughs> session. Is that how it goes? No, no. I'm oh. telling you, that's exactly. <laughs> What I thought that was going on <laughs> yeah, in my brain. Yes, well, yes. Jim, we've been doing this for a while. Now. while. <laughs> that was going on in my brain. And the city has a great opportunity for teens. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've highlighted this on multiple podcasts, but just a friendly reminder: we've reopened the Kirkland Teen Union yes, Building, and it's awesome. Yeah, drop yeah. in Teen Center free. Check it out. K Tub, as it's affectionately and efficiently referred to, <laughs> offers free drop in activities, programs, late night events, behavioral health services oh, for middle stuff. and high school aged teens. Mm-hmm. It's all for free. All for free. Really great stuff. Yeah, open Monday through Friday, 3 to 6 p.m., also with a 1 30 p.m. early start on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm-hmm. It's great, great. 
And as we mentioned before, September is National Preparedness Month. And for week two, the focus is on building and updating your kits. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what are we talking about for these kits? What's a kit, David? Well, the essentials, water, food, radio, first aid kit, blanket, whistle, masks, and sanitation supplies. And anything else that you might need. Pet, pet food, all that sort of stuff. Put it in the kit. That's right. There, there, Put it ooh, in. I like that. <laughs> Put it in the kit. <laughs> More information and a good place to get started is at kirklandwa.gov slash build a kit. Yes, good stuff. Hey, we turn to an uncomfortable but critical topic during this National Suicide Prevention Week. Mm-hmm. Yes, though it can be hard to talk about, sharing with friends and loved ones about suicide and available resources is crucial to helping support those who may be struggling. Mm-hmm. That's right. The 988 Suicide Crisis Lifeline is available to everyone 24-7. That's a great resource. Yeah, as is the new Connections Kirkland Crisis yes. Center. Very mm-hmm. important. Yeah, up in Totem Lake. They just opened. It's open 24-7, 365. Walk-ins are welcome. It's anyone experiencing a yeah, crisis. walk-ins are welcome over there. Yeah, you can just go on in if you're feeling like you are in crisis and you need support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you're looking for a way to enjoy some time outdoors care for our natural environment, or just want to meet nature-loving folks. Mm. Hey, those are all good things. Yeah, that's a good list. You can consider joining our Green Kirkland Partnership. These are an amazing group of people. They are. They are. Our Green Kirkland Partnership is hosting its annual new steward orientation coming up. Stewards lead groups of volunteers on projects throughout the year. Yeah, they're our leaders. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, The orientation begins September 19th, so get your applications in Mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Yes, and David, here are some upcoming events for you to check out. Right. One Eater Friday Market. Enjoy the final two weeks of the season. (laughs) Wow. It's almost here. The Winita Neighborhood Picnic is September 21st at Edith Moulton Park for Winita residents. There's games, food, entertainment, and more. Yeah, and Totem Lake Park has a mural painting day. That's September 21st. You basically select a time slot to, to make your mark. Yeah, <laughs> help paint there you the, go. That, that little building that's yeah. right there, mm-hmm. the, the restroom. And finally, uh, we have a future women in the fire and emergency medical services workshop. So applications are due for this amazing opportunity September 22nd. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. Yeah. And that brings us to our five over five that's five questions in what is sure to be over five minutes with our very special guest, Daniel Lazo. Welcome, Daniel. Hello, hello. <laughs> Woohoo. Now, you're a senior community engagement coordinator right here at uh, City Hall. Yes, I am. You're right here awesome. on the city manager's office. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, I work with you, Jim. You do. And, Dan- <laughs> and David. <laughs> and Kate. <laughs> and Daniel, you have the unenviable um, uh, task, I guess, of coming to work every day with a workspace that is literally right outside my office. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. How do you manage that? I manage. <laughs> he, he has noise-canceling headphones, Jim. <laughs> well, let's start with noise-canceling headphones. Yeah, right. Right? Yep. So you, are, you bring such amazing energy, and we're very grateful for that. Thank mm-hmm. you. So we're going to ask you a few questions, and we'll talk about some City Hall for All stuff. Yeah. Because you're, the, you're the head person on that. Yes, mm-hmm. I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm the guy. You're the guy. You're the architect. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about what a, a senior community engagement coordinator does for the city of Kirkland. Yeah. So uh, as the senior community engagement coordinator, I work directly with community. I go out and go to the events and help them with their different activities that are happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, I work with community directly, neighborhoods, um, some projects that I'm working on is such as the Houghton Village Development Plan mm-hmm. um, and really working through that in community engagement. I'm mm-hmm. helping out with uh, City Hall for All, which I'll talk more about later, mm-hmm. and also uh, the Kirkland Initiative. Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice. So yeah. you kind of connect with people. Uh, yeah, big yep. time. Mm-hmm. Comes naturally for you, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. I'm going to speak on Daniel's behalf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. thanks. <laughs> He's very well situated, I think, in his... And it's really kind of the bilateral. We do a lot of communications in the city manager's office. That's where we're, we all hang out. Mm-hmm. And uh, but the civic engagement part is that bilateral, right? We're communicating, but we're taking mm-hmm. information in, mm-hmm. right? So you're designing and helping to support and create opportunities for the community to to talk to us. Yeah, absolutely. And I've always been really engaged in the community at, at such a young age. I was always out there and really talking to people. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit of a yapper myself, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know. But that it's like a helpful strategic yap. Yeah, so. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to talk to my baristas every day. Yeah. So. <laughs> you know, it's funny because through the through the application process for you when you applied to come to the city, you came from California, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. So you told a fun story. I actually love this story. 
<laughs> well, um, yeah, yeah. Tell the fun story about how you created engagement in the parks. You work for the parks department. Yes, San yes. Jose, City of San, City of San Jose Parks and Recreation. So tell us about that initiative you did. Yeah, I believe there was something... Uh, there was a, some peacock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Parky. Something involved a peacock. Yeah. yeah. Parky the peacock. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So Parky the peacock was a social media campaign to help launch our Instagram. Yeah. And um, the idea came from a childhood park that I live nearby. And it's called Emma Proush Farm Park. And they had animals roaming like chickens. Wow. Uh, oh. They had like goats and pigs wow. and stuff. Oh well, my. those were in pens. But, uh. yeah. but um, this is a public park. This is a public park yeah. and it's a barn. It was dedicated by Emma Proush, who owned that land um, some years ago. And there's also peacocks actually roaming ah. in the park. Peacocks ah. are hanging out at the park. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Peacocks yeah. at the park. And so if you didn't know, City of San Jose has over 200 parks. Ooh. And yeah, so wow. what we decided to do is visit 200 parks in 200 days. Awesome. And mm -hmm. so we decided to create this mascot essentially for the department. And it's Parky the Peacock. Parky <laughs> the Peacock. Yes. Mm -hmm. Love it. Tell us about Parky. Yeah. Um, you want me to describe him please, in detail? Please, please. <laughs> all right. So in imagine, all his grandeur. Yes, in all his grandeur. <laughs> imagine a uh, blue cup <laughs> made with construction feather. Uh, construction paper feathers. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. wow. Googly eyes, construction <laughs> feather beak, and hair for um, pipe wire. And who created <laughs> okay. Parky? Yeah. Did oh, you? yeah, I created Parky. You created Parky yeah. in your own hands. I was yes. like <laughs> so off in my mental image of, <laughs> what did you of think Parky. Parky? <laughs> oh, just far more uh, uh, like literal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, Parks and Rec has like preschools and stuff. So oh, we wanted kids yeah. to be That's interactive adorable. and make yeah. it. so smart. Yeah. yeah. So then wow. what did you do with Parky? So we brought Parky all over the city of San Jose, and he not only visited 200 parks, and he also was the social media mascot. So he helped uh, celebrate different like, cultural events, so like Vietnamese New Year, um, Cinco de Mayo. That we put him in little costumes and stuff like that. <laughs> um, so he became a he became an. A social media star. Oh, yeah. You're going to yeah. love this. He was also dressed up for the San Jose Sharks. Ah, boom. Hockey. Wow. Yeah. Peacocks and hockey. Can we put some an image of Parky in the show? Now? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. we'll, we'll we'll work with you, Daniel, on finding it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So did it like, did Parky catch on? Yeah. He's still being used by the department to this day. Oh so we're gosh. talking like thousands? Thousands. Of yeah. Tens yeah. of thousands. Tens of thousands. <laughs> well, we should, we should think about doing something like that. Oh. Jim, do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. Kirky. <laughs> okay. Ted. Well, what about something to promote the podcast? Yeah. Maybe we got like, oh, all right. uh, like so, potty. Well, okay. Yeah. Well, we're back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> <That one. laughs> I like Jim's Kirky the turkey. Kirky, Kirky, Kirky the, the turkey. turkey. Is there turkeys here? <laughs> Maybe we'll no. do a thanks. <laughs> you know, we should Goat do a, Hill. Let's do a Thanksgiving. Oh. Let's do a Thanksgiving promo. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Kirky right. the turkey. We'll workshop it. We'll workshop okay. Okay. Well, thank you, my friend. Okay, a couple other quick questions. Thank you. I take sometimes I go on a frolic and a detour. <laughs> yeah. um, how did you come to Kirkland? Let's take track back a little bit to that. Yeah, besides um, just searching it up on Google, my sister <laughs> actually lives in Kirkland. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so so that was kind of the draw from yeah. City of San Jose up north. Yeah, I mean, I tell people that I quit my dream job, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I loved working in Parks and Rec. It's something that I grew up with. Oh, nice. And then I just saw an opportunity, you know, be closer to family. Yeah. I wanted to see my nephew grow up here. Yeah. Uh, um, and so that. my sister has been living here and with her husband for about two years. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to become closer. And I've always dreamed of coming to Seattle. And I was like, why did mm -hmm. you come to Seattle like before I did? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been coming here since like 2016. Oh, and wow. I've been loving the weather. I love the rain, actually. Oh, no. Nice. Um, well, you'll love it here. Yeah. The drizzle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, I've been experiencing the summer. And the summer's been summer's great. Gorgeous. But I hate the heat. So yeah. I'm ready for the rain. Yeah. All right. Well, wonderful. Okay. That's so awesome. you, you found us through the um, job listings. Yes. Right? Mm. And uh, lucky on us. Yep. Fantastic you recruitment. You showed some interest. And uh, <laughs> the rest is history. So do you have a favorite thing about the city? Oh, yeah. I love the waterfront. Mm -hmm. I love just yep. being able to see it and, and walk to it. Mm -hmm. um, and I love the downtown area. I am I go get coffee at Zoka oh, nice. and, uh, mm -hmm. almost every day. <laughs> I love my baristas yes, there. You have, your, you have your group. Yeah. Yes, I have my group. And then I, sometimes I go get a burger at um, down there as well. Moss awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Oh, I'm sorry. The... Um, Help me. The coastline? Coastline. Coastline, coastline. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All great I was just places. there yesterday. Yes. Nice. <laughs> so you're here to talk about your major event, uh, City Hall for All. Yes. City Tell Hall us about for that. All. Mm. Yeah, it's this Saturday, September 14th. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be out there, rain or shine. 
Uh, it's going to be running from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Well, let's, let's think shine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm hoping shine. I'm hoping I shine. I put in the public in, works yeah. permit request did you put for in that? sun. So <laughs> did you? Yeah. yeah, I think they'll be able to let's, process let's, let's it. Roll with it. Let's okay. roll with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's roll with it. Yeah. Um, and so the event is broken up into four elements, I would like to think. Uh, which is the city departments and community one, yep. mm-hmm. two food and culture, mm-hmm. three um, businesses, the local businesses oh, that we yeah. have here, fun, fun. and then four trucks. Awesome. Trucks. Well, let's start with the last one first. So, what sort of trucks are we talking yeah. about here? So, kids we're love a- trucks. Asking oh, for a yeah. kid. Yeah. 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 Well, I just <laughs> learned the difference asking between for a family member. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just learned there's a difference between a dump truck and a garbage truck. <laughs> Oh, because okay. I was like, so, oh, I thought this was the same so thing. Folks can yeah. learn truck taxonomy. Truck te- yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we also have um, the fire trucks. They're going to do the ladder oh, drop. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, the ladder. parachute drop. Oh, a little parachute. They drop the figurines. Fire, yeah, the figurines. yeah, so smoke jumpers. It's, I think it's <laughs> actually one of my favorite parts of City Hall. <laughs> yeah, and so we're actually closing down Fifth Avenue between oh, First okay. and Second Street. Yes, mm-hmm. and so those that street is going to be filled with different kind of big trucks. Now yeah. we didn't do that last year. No, this is the first time we're doing. This is Daniel Lazo. Innovation. Yeah. So dump trucks, garbage trucks, fire trucks. Do we have like police yes. cars? Okay. Do and how we about have... that big spider? Truck? Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. The Arbor Pro. Yes, the we have Arbor the Arbor Pro, Pro out there. Boom. What about like us? Do we have a school bus? Yes, we're hoping we're going to get oh, a school fingers bus. Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's a lot, lot of trucks. Lots yes. of colors, lots of yeah. sizes, yeah. wheel yeah. types. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, and okay. we're also going to have an electric bike demonstration on Fifth oh, Avenue. Oh, really? Okay. So if truck anybody, adjacent. Yeah, yeah, truck adjacent. <laughs> um, we're really focused on sustainability for the okay. City Hall for yes. All. So we actually have a showcase on one of the corners. Oh, mm-hmm. very and good. And so that includes electric vehicles uh, that people get to see, but also we're going to have that electric bike demonstration on the street. Oh, very good. Now, nice. there's a rumor that Jumbotron will be showing up at City Hall for mm-hmm. All. That's our massive community screen. <laughs> yes, it's going to be there. <laughs> wow. And so so Jumbotron is the big, like, we haul it out for the yeah. like, movies in the park. It's a it's movie like, screen. Like, yeah. that's the thing. Okay, so yeah. it's going to be here. It's going to be yeah. here. Are we, what are we showing on it? Well, we're going to be showing y'all. Oh, the podcast. Oh. Yeah, the podcast. Well, the podcast is going to be there, too. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, we're going to do, we're not going to record, but we're going to do a live show. Yes. And I really hope uh, our listeners come up and say hi. We have a little swag, David. Yeah, we mm-hmm. have some t-shirts. Timely Topics and Noteworthy no, News. Oh, I love Ooh. these shirts. We also have stickers. So, you know, as uh, available while supplies last, uh, just come on up. Show us that you are a listener by, you know, either showing on our fo- showing on your phone that you subscribe yeah, or follow. Get a and beautiful shirt. And get a shirt. And maybe mm-hmm. a little interview. Absolutely. Love to talk on. to some of our fans. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jim, a little birdie told me that uh, you may be rolling out something that we had workshopped at the Fourth of July parade: community karaoke. Yeah, community karaoke. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, what I feel: a community that sings together prospers together. <laughs> What that's do you think great. about that? Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I love it. I just wanted to, mm-hmm. we should get another word that rhymes with sings. Yeah, that's right. Gleams. Gleams. No, that, uh, <laughs> we'll work on that yeah, one. We'll work on that one With the turkey. I'm 0 for 2. So <laughs> far. <laughs> Anthony, how did you figure out how to get Jumbotron to broadcast uh, the front it's of the It's a lot of space Hall. age. Lasers? Tech. Yep, a little space bit of lasers. lasers. All right. <laughs> so here, here's what I would say. is like For those of you interested in high-tech media production, maybe you come out and see some lasers and show how we did all our... Uh... <laughs> it's a little simpler than that. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I think we're overselling it. A yeah. cable yeah. run up to the roof and then a line of sight shot yeah. down. Right. But but well, yeah, it is still impressive. Okay. Well, cool. The storyline here is you guys are amazing. <laughs> so thank you. So Jumbotron is also going to be situated near our pop-up market. Yes. So tell us about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to have over 30 local businesses Whoa. there. Um, a lot of food vendors. We're going to have like kettle corn, so the nice smell is going to waft the air. Yeah. We have shaved ice, um, some food trucks like um, Los Chilangos. So mm. nice. it's going to be a so really good time. This is like a fair atmosphere a, is the vibe yeah. I'm getting. And yeah. the yeah. signature event, of course, is the Kirkland City Council is going to be there. It's the most popular booth of the <laughs> event. Really, yes. it's a lot of fun. They, Absolutely. Yeah. They're doing lemon. They're giving lemonade. Yeah, giving out lemonade. Mm-hmm. Obviously, mm-hmm. A, a chance to talk to your council, council members. members. Mm-hmm. You can also hear all about our Kirkland flag process. Yeah, it's going to be oh, right yeah. there, right? Yep. Yeah, nice. Yeah, right there and also the budget. So. Oh, yeah. Any other... So, but so wait, David, you're going to be designing flags, right? 
Yeah. You're going to help people design for well, a flag. Hopefully, run. the community is going to be designing yes. some mm-hmm. flags. So, yeah. we'll hear all about how to get involved in that process, which is kicking off now yeah. mm-hmm. uh, at the city council booth. Right at the council booth. So, what other uh, community groups and city booths do we have, Daniel? Yeah. So, all city departments are going to be tabling. Wow. All of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. So, it's going to be really great. It's going to be on the northeast side of the parking lot. Love it. And we also have some community partners. So, our mm-hmm. human services grantees, such as For Tomorrow, uh, Immigrant Women Center. Uh, we're going to have Africans on the east side there. So the idea of where City Hall for All is to align with Welcoming Week. Mm-hmm. And so that's a nonprofit, nonpartisan um, nonprofit that um, Welcoming America puts on. Yeah, nice. And so it's really to welcome everybody yes. to the city and mm-hmm. show that we are really a belonging, belonging community. City. And yeah. this is a Welcoming Week event. Yes. Amazing. Now, Daniel, there's going to be a bike valley too, right? Multimodal. Yes. So if you yes. want to yeah, ride yeah. your bike... Just yeah. leave it with the bike. They're wonderful, our bike mm-hmm. valley captains, and we'll take Absolutely. care of your bike. Mm-hmm. So you know how you um, sometimes you just think of something in your brain and it shows up on your phone? Do you ever have that experience? <laughs> yeah. I've been crazy. getting a lot of dog yeah. crates really on my phone because <laughs> I have a dog coming. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. Every once in a while I'm thinking about like how to hem a, you know, do a hem on your clothes. Or, yeah. It's like, oh, I should really mm-hmm. get that button back. Up, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we all of a sudden this we'll fix it for you shows up. It's yeah, the, the so tell the us fixer about, fair. Yeah, yeah the fixer, fixer fair. fair. What, what is, is that? Yeah. Yeah. So inside City Hall, we're gonna have some fixers from Seattle Reconomy. Nice. And they're gonna be able to sew your clothes if you're torn or buttons that are missing. Um, and they're also gonna be able to fix small electronics like radios, lamps. Uh, Etc. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like a little wow. clicker that wouldn't work for us last night. Oh my the goodness, not the clicker. <laughs> the cl- <laughs> we can Let's bring the clicker. clicker. Yeah, all right. I think <laughs> the batteries were just dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> dead hey, it might be a quick fix for them. Yeah. yeah. But like maybe the community was collectively going, I wonder, I wish we really had just this fixer, fixer fair. fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. there it is. It shows up. It's yeah. for all. And that really ties together with the sustainability mm-hmm. fair, right? Tell mm-hmm. us about kind of what's happening at the sustainability showcase. Yeah. So the sustainability showcase at City Hall for All is happening on the northwest side of the parking lot. And so there's going to be also people tabling there as well, uh, such as No Idling Campaign. We have Mm -hmm. Cascade Water Alliance, Mm -hmm. um, as well as city departments um, and divisions such as stormwater, waste management. Um, So we're really integrating sustainability practices throughout the event. We're going to be... giving away free leaf rakes to oh, align nice. with electric oh. leaf lower hey. initiative. Oh, so last nice. year we were giving away free snow shovels. Snow shovels. Yeah. Love them. Yeah, over time, and you can just yeah. kit out your entire garage, yeah. folks. It's yeah. Yeah. For all. <laughs> this year, get the 2024 <laughs> leaf rake. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is there going to be some kind of like competition with the electric leaf blowers? Yeah, there's going to be an electric leaf blower race that people get to do. We're going <laughs> to have fun. a space nice. there for different kinds of games for adults and kids. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm I'm I doubt it'll be this, but I recall when we when Councilmember Pascal was on the podcast, we talked about mounting an electric leaf blower onto an electric bike. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that the race? <laughs> no. no. Maybe next year. Oh, okay, next year. Yeah, yeah. 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 I like that. <laughs> the electric gauntlet has been thrown. <laughs> so I'm sure we're forget. There's so much. I'm sure there's we're forgetting so things, but mm-hmm. it has been an amazing amount of work by so many people across so many departments, mm-hmm. city staff, and volunteers, and it's all led by one. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> <Lassie>. <laughs> so your community engagement yeah. Daniel Lassie. You know, I've only been here 120 days. So. <laughs> That's right. I mean, but who's counting? Who's I'm counting. counting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very specific number. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have one last question for you, my friend. Yeah. Yes. Daniel, what are, you, uh, what are you up to these days? What are you... Are you reading, watching, listening? Yeah, I just watched the new Beetlejuice movie. Oh. oh. Ah, yeah, I'll try not to say it three times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That might be a special guest. Yeah. <laughs> it, might, it might be some fun. Oh, How, man. I, I love the it. original. Yeah. Oh, yeah, classic. yeah. Classic. And there's also the musical by Broadway, and it was oh, really yeah. good as well. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so do songs. we have a thumbs up on this? Oh, yeah. I definitely have a thumbs up. Okay. okay. And Michael okay. Keaton's back, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. I mean, the, the, yeah, the original cast, or a lot of the original cast. A lot of the original cast, cast. Yeah. great. That's cool. Okay. Well, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> okay. Sorry, no spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> All right, well, super fun. Well, will you stick around, Daniel, for our pop quiz multiple choice trivia? Yes, I will. All right. So one of these answers is firing on all cylinders, mm. while the others have simply blown a gasket, ah. which, okay. of course, means we just made them up. <laughs> all right. Got it. Okay, so one's correct and two... False. False. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, option A. The first pickup truck was built in 1921 by Floyd Dodge. 
Oh, I, I well, that recognize name sounds familiar. <laughs> that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Floyd. Floyd, Floyd Trucks. Dodge. Is that what you mean? <laughs> oh, oh, Dodge <laughs> Trucks. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dodge. Yeah. Option B, standing over 27 feet high, 67 feet long, and 32 feet wide, the Bell AZ75710 <laughs> is the biggest truck in the world. Ah, uh, the good old oh, okay. Bell AZ75710. Yeah. It just rolls yeah. off the top. In they fact, maybe the, use some marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The yeah. level of specificity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. It might I be know. revealing. Yeah, those are revealing. very specific dimensions. I don't know. Yes. A lot of it's feeling, I don't know. <laughs> yes. The Bell AZ75710. I, I mean, than... what about 32 feet wide? I'm, I'm kind of stuck there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've lived in smaller <laughs> homes yes. most of yes, my life. Yes, I have lived than in yeah. smaller spaces than yeah. this. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Or option C, every morning I greet the day by making monster truck noises, Daniel, and telling myself, go big, Jim, then go home. Oh, okay. I like that option. <laughs> <laughs> That's my morning ritual. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You pay for the whole day, but yeah. you only live the edge. Uh, oh, that, 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 that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> gets I'm over three this, <laughs> this episode. But keep at it. Okay. Keep at, keep at it. That gets me get gets me rolling in the yeah. Hey, I, there you go. I might take a page from your book. That kind of sounds like a good way to start. <laughs> that's why I have noise canceling. <laughs> <laughs> and there, my friends, we've come full circle. <laughs> The power of noise canceling headphones at <laughs> yes. work. Yes. Well, I'm going to go with option A, uh, the first pickup truck. Uh, you know, Floyd. Mm. Yeah, Floyd. The Floyd, mm, the the Floyd. Floyd truck. The Floyd. I love my Floyd Ram. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> the answer, everyone, mm -hmm. is option B. Oh. Yes, the, the seven five, truck. The, the 75710 can carry a 500 short ton load. Wow. And tops out at about 40 miles per hour. Wow, wow, that's, that's about how fast our dog can run. I tell you, that <laughs> the specificity in that name was a little... Yeah, this is kind of a good... Yeah. Okay, yeah. noted. I 750. I thought it was an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, now, yeah, Dodge yeah. was late to the truck game. It huh? didn't put out a Dodge-branded truck until 1930. Oh. Gottlieb Dimer created the first truck in 1896... And Ford created the first true pickup truck in 1925. Okay, so all of our automobile aficionados out there. Wow. Um, yeah. Did you know Dodge was the first company to put out a commercial 4x4 oh. truck into mm. production in 1946? Wow, okay. that's interesting. So just different priorities. Yeah, yeah interesting. <clears throat> so now you know. Now you know. Daniel, I hope you had fun. Thank you so much <laughs> for coming <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you this weekend. Uh, yes. don't, don't forget to come to City Hall for yeah. all. Yeah. That's right. See you there. <laughs> and that does it for this week, my friends. You've been listening to This Week in Kirkland. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. share. Special thanks to Anthony Girardi, Victor Durantes, and Chris Peterson for their behind-the-scenes magic. Thank, Thank you. you. Our next episode is September 19th. Until then, stay connected, Kirkland. Kirkland.